Hey everybody, welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 12 with Rhiney. Uh, let's go over what happened in the last episode. The last one, last episode, uh, Mickey D recovered from malaria. Um, we're kind of working on a new bedrooms. So, uh, Ronnie now has a cool bedroom which has bamboo flooring and stuff. Um, I've had some ideas from you guys in order to build an airlock. Which sounds pretty damn cool because... My refrigerator is not exactly the most famous. Um, we kind of need an airlock, so when when we walk into there from here, I imagine the temperatures will stay more consistent. So I'm going to try and work on that now. Now, what do we have? We've got loads of granite. So here's what I'm going to do. I think if we make it like this, we obviously need to remove this vent. And then I build a granite door, so they basically they walk through that door, then they go through this door, then they're into there. That should work, I think. I don't know why I've built vents here. Doesn't seem to be quite working, so we'll get rid of those. Um, maybe I was having a funny five minutes or something. Now, where is Ash and Crow, our amazing builder? There he is. So you're working on that brilliant stuff, mate. Um, we're going to use granite to repair that wall. Yeah, now you're you're working on that, good man. So theoretically, having this airlock should work, and I might eventually want to expand this fridge as well, just to keep our food good. So let's see. If I was to do that, I think we'd have it. Let's make it that big for now, and then we can always increase it later, I guess. I might need to be double walled as well. Temperature in here is really hot. We set these to minus four, but it's actually 15 degrees C here. Well, that could be some of the heat escaping from there. Heat is one thing I'm kind of struggling with on this game. Not quite sure how to deal with refrigerators. I know how to build a basic refrigerator, but this idea, which has been given to me by a couple of you to build an airlock, is really rather interesting. So I want to try that out. Ah, uh, the solar flare is probably not helping. I wonder if that's still here. Should pass in about a day. Yeah, it could be. Not quite sure. Maybe that was a remnant of uh, the last episode. Alright. So, Ash and Crow, I guess you're now trying to convert our prisoners. Because in the last episode, we managed to capture three prisoners. But one of them died due to an extreme infection. Uh, but we've still got two of them. So hopefully, if we can recruit them, that would be enormously helpful in expanding the ability of our base to to succeed and thrive. The other thing I wanted to do was build another area where we're going to be growing quick-growing trees. I don't know if that will be bamboo or not. I'm not quite sure what grows quickly. Is it poplar? 31 days. Wow. 40 days for pine trees, birch another 40 days, cecropia 20 days, so it looks like it probably is bamboo, yeah it only takes 6.5 days, let's grow that, yeah that's it Ash and Crow, you work on this for me, so indoors now is 2 degrees, right one colonist is idle, oh no you can't get out mate, there we go, get rid of this wall so you can get out, <laughs> Ash and Crow, come on mate, deconstruct the wall and get out of there, that's it. <laughs> he got stuck. Alright, now let's fast forward. Look at our prisoner. Our prisoner's just wandering around in our fridge. You can't just do whatever you want, love. Oh god, there's fires everywhere. And I think what I'm doing here is quite good. Alright, let's slow down a bit. Ronnie failed to recruit Gubia. Where's Ash and Crow gone? Here he comes, yeah, he's gonna finish off the build job. Good man. So is this what you meant by uh, an airlock? I hope it is. It's indoors now. It's 17 degrees in my refrigerator. Maybe it's because of these. Yeah, when you build the walls there, that might help. All right, let's put another one there. We wanna get rid of that one, actually, and that one. So now it's 20 degrees. Oh no, a psychic ship. A piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby. Well, that throws into jeopardy my plans. Wow, that's quite far away as well. How am I going to deal with that? 
It would. It's got to be best to do the whole turret trick, right? It has to be. Let's get this fridge finished off first. So indoors, seventeen degrees. Wait, what? You can't put Gooby here in in that bed. That wasn't never set for prisoners. Why on earth did you put him in there? Why is our fridge still so hot? Look at that, eight degrees. What am I doing wrong here, guys? Eight degrees. Maybe it's the wall thing. Maybe it needs an airlock to go outside as well. Hmm. This is tricky. Uh. Yeah, let's build another airlock. So we'll have a granite door there. We're going to get rid of all of this bit. I think. And then... Yeah, and then across there. Right, I think Ash and Crow, I want to take you off negotiation. Yeah, we'll let Ronnie deal with that. Ash and Crow, I need you to primarily focus on building all of this stuff for me. Actually, I might need everyone to get working on constructing. Let's get Ronnie on it too. And Mickey D's researching. We'll take him away from that. Elfwin, uh, you can do it as well. Yeah, then we're going to start dealing with this, this crash psychic ship up here. So, we want it something like this. We'll have one there. One there. One there. Now, I think four Four turrets should be ample. Can't even see them. It's so dark. And yeah, we'll have it. We'll have a power conduit running down like this. And then yeah, then all the way back to our base. That should work. How does, how does that look, guys? Sorry, I was so quiet there. Just trying to concentrate and make sure I'm doing it right. That's one huge power conduit we've got to build. And loads of turrets. So let's speed up the game. How's our temperature doing now? 28 degrees. Holy crap. All right, now we need to build this bit. Oh, yeah. Obviously, we've got no coolers. We need to mine that bit. Where is Ronnie? Let's get him over. Good job, Ronnie. And then we're going to put a cooler there. And hopefully that should help. I might need to expand the fridge up here a bit. There we go, lads. Uh, Ronnie, let's haul this steel out of the way. So the door works. All right, still 25 Temperatures are plummeting. 21 degrees. Ah, because of this. Okay. Minus 4, I'll set it at. See if that works. Yeah, temperatures are going down, finally. Alright, how's our turret operation going? Woo, very, very slowly. <laughs> so we've got one, two, three, four turrets. Yeah, and they're trying to lay the big power conduit as well. So have we got enough steel, I wonder? Hopefully, and the temperature in here now, it's getting there. We're getting close to our target temperature. So again, what I think I'm going to do is expand it like so. Get rid of that, 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 and that. Put another door in there. Actually, we don't need these. Oh no, we're out of power. Ah, ah, it's because of the eclipse. Holy crap, look at that fire as well. Jesus Christ. Um, hmm. Well, we're not going to be able to deal with that ship until the power's back on, that's for sure. Yeah, like this. This works. And then I'm going to have another cooler there. Ah, oh, yeah, remember in the last episode, we picked up some taffy. <laughs> Some, some candy. And we're in the process of researching a candy making machine. That could make things go pear shaped for us <laughs> by focusing on childish things like candy. But it might also work. You never know. Where's Mickey D off to? Oh, yeah, that fire could explode all of these boomerlopes. That would be a pain in the bum. 
Hopefully no one walks through that and gets attacked, um, gets caught in the explosion. All right, let's increase our refrigeration zone now. Ah, we don't need that bit there either. So if I've got double airlocks now, one airlock there, and one airlock there, should that help? I think it should. Yeah, we need to improve, we need to build this wall and then this should work, our fridge. Coolio. Come on, people. Let's speed up the game. Get them building those turrets as quick as they can. Yeah, and this. Yeah, so this we want to set. I don't know what a good temperature to set for our refrigerators is. Like, minus four seems good. Because then it's more like a freezer and it keeps the food fresh longer. As far as I can tell, there's no penalties for uh, having frozen food as opposed to chilled food. Now, Capybara's gone mad. That ain't good. I don't want to take any injuries from that. Let's zoom out and get everyone back. Uh, let's put them there. The capybara is going to come and want to fight anyway. There he is. Holy crap. Headshot? What the fudge? Who took a headshot? Jaw, gunshot. They shot each other. Hoo hoo, whoopsie. Damn, I suck. Ryanie, stop failing. Set as medical. Let's get two bedrooms set as medical. We need some treatment. I kind of rushed that, but I wasn't quite sure how to deal with it. Are our turrets under construction yet? Nope. That psychic ship's going to cause an issue. And the eclipse isn't helping either. What? You lads are, work are in there. Ashen Crow, if you can build that for me. And our doctor is Mickey D, so we better make it Ashen Crow so he tends to their wounds. Yeah, that's it, mate. I think we're out of medicine. Not good. Yeah. Good man, Ashen Crow. 26%. Not, that's not good. Alright, hopefully they're not going to get infected or anything. There we go. Now these are for prisoners. It's all going a bit wrong here, isn't it, lads? Yeah. Then there's proper medical beds for you guys. Elfwin is fully healed. Splendid. And they're still building the power conduit. That is a nightmare, that ship over there. And we can't even see if our fridge is working properly because of the eclipse. Low medicine. One of the moons of this planet is orbited in front of the sun. Get out of bleeding way. Yay, they're starting to build the turrets. Whoop whoop. Come on, people. How long is this eclipse going to last? Oh, it's clear now. An ancient structure has emitted a psychic pulse that has driven nearby animals mad. That ain't cool. No, Mickey D's under attack from a freaking chinchilla. Help him out, Elfwim. Surely you can just smash this thing over the head. Yeah, good work, people. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Now where are we? Your power is coming back on. Yay! Ash and Crow's having a snooze. I don't particularly like how I've laid out my base at the moment. It's not looking fantastic, but we fixed the fridge. Minus two, minus three, minus four. Sweet. Good job, me. Drone intensifies. No, drone level medium. Elfwim, while you're there, mate, can you... Oh, you can't haul it back. Cannot haul chinchilla corpse. No empty place configured to store it. I think you'll find there is. Aren't you allowed to store it in here? Apparently not. There we go. Righto, Elfwin. Looks like mood, mood is a big problem as well. Grab that. I better slow down the game and see what's going on. Elfwin. Urgently hungry. Uh huh. And Ronnie. Very hot. Oh no. Why are you very hot, Ronnie? Ah, oh, just because outside it is really hot. That sucks. 37 degrees. How can I manage their temperature of them then? Oh no, Elfwin's gone berserk. He's attacking an alpaca. <laughs> That's not good. 
The alpaca might beat you, Elfwin. Colonist needs treatment. Yep. Oh, shizzle. No one's back here to help either. Hey, one of our turrets is nearly built. Yeah, one of them is built. We've got three more on their way. Okay. Ah, oh, Elfwin, you won the fight against the alpaca. Thank God for that. I suspect you're... Ah, oh, you've just been bruised. Now you're attacking our dog! What the fudge? Get back here and arrest Elfwin. Leave the dog alone. Ah, the dog beat you, Elfwin. And <laughs> now the dog's hauling you to safety. Oh, he's so sweet. He's like, I don't care if you're going to hit me. I love you so much, I'm going to rescue you anyway. How cute is that? Sorry, Ash and Crow. <laughs> we need to rescue the alpaca, though. Can we do it? Rescue. Ah, no one reserved bed for him. We need a proper bed, but I don't have the materials for it. Ah, in that case, we should probably be growing cotton. Derp. Rhiney, you're such a derp. I'm going to grab big area of cotton like that. Yeah. Cotton plant. Or devil strand. Devil strand was, is worth more money, isn't it? But probably takes longer to grow. And we've now got two of our four turrets built. Good work, people. Alright, I better check on everyone's health. Health win. Ooh, scratched by the Labrador. I wonder if no, no power. Ooh, things are not going well. How'd you like your bedroom anyway, Ronnie? You're happy, aren't you? These people. Why don't you join my colony? Alright, poor mood. Elfwin. Urgently hungry. And Ronnie, are you hungry too? Nah, the psychic drone's not helping. Okay, Mickey D. We're getting you the best medical care. I mean, Elf, when we're getting you the best medical care we've got, Mickey D is <laughs> is in control of the the sewing needle, sewing you together like a boss. Hey, is that our pet? No, that is our pet. Colonist needs treatment. Ah, oh, Ash and Crow's under attack from Juliet. Right, Ash and Crow, you know what to do. Subdue her and you, Mickey D. Punch to the face. Where's Elfwin going? Consuming potatoes. No, Elfwin. What am I doing? Reinstein's messing this up big time. Cook, Elfwin. Cook. <laughs> Ronnie, you're going to join in as well. Knock this Juliet lady out. Alright. Uh, whoops. Here we go. Get everyone the treatment they need. Ash and Crow, I hope you're going to a medical bed. So this bed was set as non-medical now. Elfwin, how are you doing now? Shattered third rib. Holy crap, dude. That must hurt. Doctor. Doctor Mickey D. Mickey D, we need your help. Go and treat Ash and Crow. God, it's, I'm not doing very well this episode. Sorry, guys. It's, it's not easy. When I don't record so many episodes in advance, I kind of uh, lose track of how to control everything because I'm focusing on XCOM and Firewatch, etc., etc. So we'll, we'll get back there. We'll get back there. Don't worry. Yeah, Mickey D is fixing you up, Ash and Crow. Lovely. How's our dog? Uh, he's bruised. And you know what? We can put uh, Mickey D back on growing so we get them new crops planted. Oh my god, and we've got a raid as well. Okay. So, how lovely. And we've got terrible mood. Elfwin, no. Well, getting food back is a good start to repairing this problem. Right, they're obviously preparing for a while. I forgot to check that. Elfwin is close to breaking. Acute pain. Hey, our turrets. We've got three turrets. Do you reckon we could take this down now? I say we go for it because that's going to send my colonists mad. Yeah. Yeah, just two scythers. We can deal with that. That's not too bad. Imagine if we had loads of freaking centipedes and everything. 
All right, let's get rid of those. As long as our colonists don't go running over there to meet the enemy, we'll be fine. Yeah, the thing is about these ciphers though, they're really accurate with their shots. Right, we'll leave that to do what it's doing. And here come the raiders! Our turret should cut them down without issue though. We thinks. Are you coming in, enemy? Ah, oh, God, the dog! The freaking dog! What are you doing, man? Get back here, doggy! Wake up! Doggy! Wake up, doggy! Come on! How can I control him? Elfin. Draft. Release the hounds! And then don't release him, so he comes back here. Quick, dog bird! Run to safety! You're nearly there! Come on! No! The blocks are slowing him. Yay! He's back to safety! Phew! I wonder how this issue is going on. Oh god, that turret's nearly blown up. <laughs> Elfwyn, you're fine. Mickey D. Dogbert's coming back. Alright, we're just going to focus on this raid first, I think. Yeah. They should all get absolutely butchered by my turrets. Although power's nearly out. Oh, oh, cold. Come on. Come on, quickly, enemy. One more kill, and they should decide to leave. We hope. Yeah, they're leaving. Phew. Okay, now I can worry about what's going on over here. Yes, both of the ciphers are dead. These things are out of power. But, that's okay. We can destroy the psychic ship once we get power back. Phew. Rhiny, you don't have to make a meal out of things, mate. Ash and Crow's patching up. Juliet. Juliet, you prisoners are more trouble than you are worth. Okay, we have power back. Sweet. Sort this out then. God, I'm going to need to manage this a lot better if I'm going to get us out of the rainforest alive, people. Let's destroy that. All right, Ronnie. What are you up to, Ronnie? Visiting a grave. Deconstruct. We'll get that body burned. And a dog burn. Dogbert needs a sleeping spot in order to be healed. Yeah, furniture, animal sleeping spot. There we go, we'll put that there. There you go, lovely. And Elfwyn, yeah, you're fully healed finally. I was just about to say, you're still injured. Alright, we've actually got somebody there we could capture. Teenage female archer. Crossfather, bionic body parts. She's an optimist. <gasps> She would be quite good in my colony. But she's bleeding like a mouse. Let's just leave her. Leave her to die and suffer. Ashen Crow. Psychic Drone. Come on. Come on, turrets. Can you destroy this a bit quicker, please? 49%, 46%. You know what? We don't need that turret up there now. Alright, well that should be dealt with momentarily. So we can get back to our issue of... Doing lots of mining, so we can build more bedrooms. And our miner is Ronnie, so you're off construction now. Ash and Crow, you've got six medical skills now. You're not going to be a doctor anymore. Look at Mickey D's medical skills, 13. The man is a machine. Ash and Crow needs treatment, oops. Right, we've got an AI persona core there as well. Lovely. Wow, look at all these things I've got to deal with. Uh, Ash and Crow, first of all, you're exhausted. Right, I guess you're going to go to bed now. Alright, set as non medical. Oh no, it needs to be medical so you can stay there. Mickey D, you're tending to our injured little doggy. I think I would prefer you tending to Ash and Crow. Oh no, you're tending to the alpaca. Huh. What the hell are the turrets shooting at? Poor mood, low medicine, low food, need batteries. 
So we're growing medicine now, right? Is it there we're growing it? No, that's sugarcane. Where's our zerygium? Bamboo. Watermelon. I thought I was growing some zerygium somewhere. There it is. Alright, we just need that to hurry up and grow then. <laughs> or we need a combat supplier who we can call and get um, some medicine from. Alright, so that's been quite an eventful episode. I think I'm going to leave it there for now. Thank you for watching. We've got capybara meat. Lovely. Um, hopefully next episode will be a lot better and I won't suck so hard. But uh, please leave a like if you do enjoy what I'm doing. And uh, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.